constant current versus constant voltage and multi-process machines. What are they and what's the importance? Constant current power sources are used for, let's underline this, stick and TIG. They maintain a relatively constant current with changes in arc length. Constant voltage, CV, are used for MIG and flux core welding and they maintain a relatively constant voltage. So we are either maintaining current, amperage, or voltage. CCCV machines are multi-process machines that can allow the user to MIG, TIG, stick, and flux core. Sometimes uh, arc gouge, and uh, sometimes these are limited to DC TIG. There's no AC with that, but the, the, some of these newer machines are actually uh, including the AC, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so CC, CV, and multi -pro I put a couple examples here. Constant current, I use the Ideal Arc 250 Lincoln. We have the Miller Multimatic 252, and then the FlexTech 500 as our multi-process machine. So this one does have a CC slash CV machine. We're going to start here with a constant current power source. The machine I chose was the uh, Ideal Arc 250. It's a Lincoln machine. Uh, it's a transformer rectifier. And uh, this is really just kind of a stick machine, but you could technically use a power cable adapter and TIG with it. I can put that up here. So you can use this power cable adapter with a current stick, uh, a stinger, and really just hook up there. Anyways, regardless of whether it's TIG or stick, um, all of this applies. So arc length affects both voltage and amperage. Okay, as one goes up, the other one goes down and vice versa. So if voltage goes up, amperage goes down. If amperage goes up, voltage goes down. So an example is the proper arc length for stick is about one rod diameter. Let's call that the control group. So let's just say that we have a 1 8 inch 6010 rod and we're going to run it around 90 amps. So we're going to point right to that green line and say that that's around 90. And then we have somewhere, I don't know, in the 20s for voltage. So what's going to happen is if we increase the arc length, it's going to create a larger gap and more resistance. Therefore, the voltage or electrical pressure is going to have to go up. Okay, so we're here. Voltage goes up, which means to uh, the voltage goes up to maintain the arc, which actually just means that your amperage is going to drop. But you can see that the drop is very insignificant. If we're at 90, maybe we go to 85, the rod's still going to burn. If it dropped down to like 50, we have a problem. We would stick to the metal and we would not be able to weld. Okay, so then we have the opposite effect. If we decrease the arc length or have a tight arc length, it means that the arc gap is smaller, which means we need less pressure or voltage to maintain that arc. So the voltage actually drops and that means that our amperage goes up. So as one goes down, the other goes up. Vice versa, as one goes up, the other goes down, and that is exactly what a constant current power source does. Constant voltage used for MIG flux core machines, and we're going to go ahead and start out saying that we have our control group uh, here, this green one, and we're just going to say it's 18 volts, and whatever the amperage might be, we'll just uh, throw 200 out there just to do it. Okay? So if we are going to get a little bit closer with the uh, MIG gun. Our voltage might drop a little bit, which means that our amperage will actually go up, and vice versa. The longer arc will create a little bit more voltage and less amperage. Okay, so yes, you can have a little bit more or less amperage based on your arc length, but keep in mind these are all very close over here, which is why we call it a constant voltage machine. And when you look at this little diagram down here, this is really trying to explain to you that even if your nozzle is a little bit different, this is quite exaggerated in my picture, but you can see that that arc length, if I can draw a straight line, 
is about the same. So that's the idea. That's what this machine's trying to do is maintain a perfect arc length. So the contact tip to work distance changes, but the arc length stays about the same due to the constant voltage machine. Voltage controls arc length, which means the higher the voltage, the longer the arc, and vice versa. And there's a brief summary of constant current versus constant voltage.